I'll stand just like a statue, just like you, acting like the sky's just about to fall. Hello everybody, welcome back, and Tim up here, and yes, I know my hair is all screwed up. Yesterday I took a shower, and well, my hair got all curly, and now I fucking look like Markiplier. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be talking about two major video streaming platforms, YouTube Gaming and Twitch.tv, and we're going to decide what's the best. And, well, clearly it's Facebook Live, but... Now, before I start the video, all I'm going to say is that these are my opinions. These are not fact at all. If you want to tell me down below what your favorite is, you can tell me if it's YouTube Gaming or Twitch. I don't care. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it with my really fucked up hair. <laughs> now, to increase the video's time to that juicy 10 minute mark, let's explain how Twitch became a thing in the first place. Basically used to separate gaming content from Justin TV, which is basically the IRL section of Twitch, but it was the main focus at that time. Now, Twitch started in 2011, and its main focus was, of course, on gaming. Hence why they kind of separated it from Justin TV. And over the years, Twitch grew a lot in popularity. Heck, it grew to the point where they shut down Justin TV to only focus on Twitch, since it was so popular. To this day, about 1.5 million people watch Twitch, and about 10 million people watch them. Like, heck... Even I'm watching Twitch right now, as you can see in the background, and just overall to enjoy watching people play video games, or just to watch them IRL stream. Anyways, what do I like about Twitch? Well, before I explain that, all I'm going to say is this. YouTube Gaming and Twitch have a lot of similar things on both platforms, so if I end up repeating myself, I am terribly sorry. One of the things that I like is just, it's so organized. Like, if I want to find someone playing Super Mario 64, I can just go to the section and find a streamer streaming it. It's that easy. Another thing I love about Twitch is how interactive the streamers are with their chat and overall with other people that donate and sub to them. It, well, I could say that for YouTube Gaming as well, but I will get into that later. Another thing that I like about Twitch is how it's the home of most esports events and well-known charity events. Like, if you want to watch a CSGO match, you can find it on Twitch. If you wanted to find like a charity event such as Zeldathon or GDQ, you can finally most likely be in on Twitch. Anyways, don't worry about the purple brand. Well, let's talk about the red brand. Hence, see, look, I even I even got the red colors. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god! YouTube started experimenting with live stream around 2009-2010 and officially implemented it as YouTube Live in 2011. But it was mostly used for like real-time events such as the 2012 Olympics and the Flex Barner's jump from the edge of space at the... I totally did not look that up, I swear. And of course, at the time, you had to have at least a thousand subs to at least start live streaming. But over time, they kind of changed that. So now... Like right now, if you don't have, if you have like one sub, you could probably start live stream. But later in 2015, YouTube would release YouTube Gaming to, of course, compete with Twitch. Now, what I like about YouTube Gaming is that even though it's kind of similar to Twitch, it has like different things, such as the sponsor button, which is similar to the sub button. If you were to sponsor any YouTuber, you'll get custom badges and emotes in the chat and access to only sponsor streams. Again, kind of similar to Twitch. But still, if you want an only sponsor stream, you can like have a sponsor chat on the stream, no YouTube chat, and you'll just be easier like that. So again, as I mentioned, YouTube gaming and like Twitch are like very similar. But now, what's better? <laughs> now, in my opinion, it's easier to start a live stream on YouTube because again, you already have fans. And if you do a live stream, fans are of course are going to come to that. But if you start on Twitch, it would be harder because you're going to have to work your ass off to get people to watch and subscribe to your stream. Anyways, to sum it all up, they're both amazing places to stream. And personally, I watch both of them. I'd say my favorite streamers on Twitch have to be Clint Stevens, Tyler1, Trihex, and various other speedrunners such as Cheezo5, Punkasian, Simple Flips, Stivity Bobo, and many others. Also on YouTube, I usually like to watch Etika. And my boy, Mr. Jimmy Steel 25 who recently got that world record. Let's go! Anyways, I highly recommend... There will be links to all of them down below. And I highly recommend you check them out. Anyways, at the end of this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, tell me your opinions down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!